Dr. Freeman, I presume. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> here. Let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness, Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous what about. Cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship. But okay. You got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. <clears throat> the Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Gordon, 
why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a holdup on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is, is it? Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to CY base and LG orbifold, Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. No, fix sneaks. What now? Uh, doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind plugging us in? It's right there, Gordon. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'll be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your pet, the freaking headhopper! Lamar, let me go! Is Lamar with his head about that thing? What's going on? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put! You'll get your answer. Something is drawing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? They think he's back. I'm getting him out of there. That's just the way it is to feel. It will heal you apart. You just lost Gordon. What's going on? I wish I knew. I'm encountering unexpected interference. Don't worry, Gordon. We're there he is. Oh, we're losing it again. But it was. I'm all but certain it was Gordon Freeman. <laughs>
Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it.